After working with over 100 creative agencies, I saw that there was five tools that the most successful agency owners were consistently using. So today I'm going to explain what those tools are and how my clients are utilizing them to save time and ultimately make more money. What I see happen for a lot of agencies is you're utilizing spreadsheets or Google Sheets and they might or might not be up to date and ultimately do not actually know what action leads to what result. So you're in a place where you are relying on what you assume to be true rather than what is actually true. And a CRM allows you to be able to track all of this with a system, largely automatically. You take an action and logs the result and actually knows what is actually happening through each stage of that funnel. Did they come via referral? Did they come via an ad? Did they come via a blog post? How exactly did they find us? What is the likelihood that they ended up buying? So we can utilize that information to build projections, understand when we need to hire, understand what we can actually rely upon for our lead generation monthly. When an agency either doesn't have a project management tool or doesn't use their project management tool, they're in a place where they're missing deadlines, clients are unhappy, they're losing clients hand over fist, and you're gonna be spending your day kind of playing whack-a-mole when they arise. So a project management tool allows for you to have templates of what you should be doing and when for every single type of project that you work on. Who is assigned for that specific task, what they need to be doing, and when that item is due. That way you can see if something is going off kilter, if something isn't getting done, so that you can actually be in the places that you need to be focusing your attention where you are needed most. Allowing for you to actually see what projects you have going on within the business and who is going to be assigned to them, but how much time that is actually going to take. So the issue that I generally see here is that there's two scenarios, underutilized team or overutilized team. So when you have a team member that is underutilized, you're able to actually either have them work on something for the agency to allow the agency to grow, or you're able to actually have them bring a project forward so you can actually shorten the timeline and get revenue earned sooner. Or you have a situation where a team member is overutilized and you can assign someone else to do that work, or you now know that you need to hire someone to be able to bring that person on. And ideally, you know this in advance so that you're not hiring someone that you needed three weeks ago and ultimately all of you are working overtime and losing your nights. I know that this is a divisive topic. Some of you are gonna say, ah, I'm not gonna do that. But hear me out for a moment, okay? Time tracking is one of the most utilized and important tools that you can have to understand what is actually going on within your agency. And here's why. Often, the number one thing that I see from an unprofitable agency is that they have rosy colored glasses on how long something is going to take to get done. And utilizing and understanding, actually having a data point of how long something takes is going to help you being able to price better, being able to resource better, being able to manage your projects better. Without that data, we're always basing all of our information on gut. And I'll tell you, my gut has led me wrong numerous times and it is leading you wrong all the time as well. Utilize your time data to make your agency more profitable, better run, and you actually understanding what is going on day to day within your agency so you can make improvements on a consistent basis. The vast majority of you are designers, creatives, right? And numbers are not something that you revel in. It's not something that you think, hey, guess what? I'm gonna spend my day looking at an accounting financial report or an Excel document report. And you may even tell yourself that this isn't something that you are good at. Quite frankly, I'm not trying to turn you into a CFO. I'm not trying to turn you into an accounting whiz. What I'm trying to turn you into is a CEO, someone that is running their business on the numbers so that they are not in a place where they're avoiding it, where they don't have the numbers. Loads of agencies that I talk to are just ignoring their accounting, ignoring their data, avoiding the reports that allow for them to ultimately be successful. And I don't want that to be you. 
So if you found this video useful, you'll probably find this one useful as well. In general, if you're a creative agency owner looking for more tips, don't forget to subscribe to this channel as we have more helpful videos coming your way.